Good morning, friends and neighbors of Mitchellville Christian Church. My name is Pastor Rachel. I want to wish you all a very uh, blessed and happy new year. I pray that your holidays have been a uh, blessing and have been joyful and restful as much as they uh, can have been uh, in a new way, in whatever new way they were celebrated this year. Today, January 3rd, is a day that our congregation at Mitchellville Christian Church has chosen uh, to set aside for our annual congregational meeting. So we will not be hosting worship over Zoom or YouTube this morning. Um, but this meeting that we have every year is a time that we come together to hear all about and to discuss the work and the ministry that we've been able to do together in the last 12 months. Uh, to choose new officers and to imagine together uh, what the possibilities are for the year ahead. So we welcome your prayers for this meeting, for this time, as we discern, um, as we take the time to discern how we can live deeper into our calling as Christian neighbors in the Mitchellville community. Today uh, is also Epiphany Sunday. It's the Sunday before Epiphany, which is January 6th. If you don't know, the 12 days of Christmas uh, officially start on Christmas Day and end, end on Epiphany, uh, January 6th. And that is the day that, that Christians around the world uh, celebrate and remember the star that led uh, the Magi, those that we often call wise men, from a far off foreign land to uh, to honor the newborn Jesus, whose birth we celebrate on Christmas Day. And one of the ways that we have uh, recognized this special day in the past is to, um, to give those who attend worship uh, something called star words. And they're words that, that are given with the hope that uh, something about them will speak to you, that they will um, help to guide you in the year to come. Uh, star words are something that that I enjoy very much. Uh, I've heard from many who have kept those throughout the year and have found them to be meaningful in their time of prayer um, and and in their in their quiet time. And so, uh, I want to be able to do that again if that is something that you would like to participate in, if you would like to have a Star Wars um, picked randomly for you. And we pick them randomly, we don't choose them ourselves, and that is so that we can uh, sort of lean into the mystery, uh, lean into the spirit of, of that uh, mystery that is God's guiding light, guiding us towards something that um, we may not have sought out ourselves. And so as we go into this new year, uh, this new year that is full of hope and of possibility and, um, and, and light, we pray that that light of God will lead you to find God in new ways and in new places. And if joining a church or joining a community uh, is on your list of New Year's resolutions this year, we invite you to come and be a part of Mitchellville Christian Church um, next Sunday or in the next coming weeks. Um, it, to find, so we are meeting virtually right now uh, during the pandemic time. We're meeting over Zoom and streaming our worship to YouTube uh, live on Sunday mornings. So you're welcome to participate in either of those ways. Uh, we would love to have more people join us on Zoom, uh, both for worship and for Sunday school and for our um, Bible study that takes place in the middle of the week. Uh, if you are not already on the email list and would like to be, that is a great way to find the links to, uh, to all of our, our gatherings. And uh, we would love to have, we would love, love to have you join us. We welcome your prayers uh, for our gathering today as we go forward into a new year and uh, seek to be the best church that we can be in our community. And we give thanks for you and for all that, uh, that you have weathered 
we see that and honor that, and this has been a trying year uh, for so many. And we just pray that in the year to come, uh, you are finding ways to connect with each other, finding ways to connect with God, and finding ways to connect also with yourself um, in the year to come. And now if you will join me in that prayer. Loving God, God of light and God of mystery and God who holds our hearts. We give you thanks for a new year. We give you thanks for the hope and the joy and the peace and the love that we hope to embody, that we recognize in your son Jesus and that we endeavor every day to live out in our own lives. Be with us now, God, as we look forward to a new year and be with all of those who are hearing my voice right now. Lord, cover them in your everlasting, never failing love. God, we know that you hold every tear, you hold every sorrow, you have accounted for every single one of our pains, of our losses, and we've had so many of them in 2020. And so God, we ask for your peace. In 2021, we ask for your guiding light once again. We pray that our eyes will be open, that our ears, that our hearts will be open, and that our feet will be willing to go where you call us to go. We pray all of this in the name of your son, Jesus, who we celebrate this and every day. Amen. Go in peace, friends, and Happy New Year.